Hey there guys, Nigel here and I've got an exclusive for you. I'm sitting and I'm about to have an interview with Ashley and Pudsy. Hey guys. Hi Pudsy, you going to say hello? You ready to speak? <laughs> Good boy, well done. Good boy. <laughs> thank you so much for coming to talk to us. No, thank you. Now we're here at the Pop Jam offices. This is great, isn't it? I know, I've just looked behind me and there's a giant Pudsy there. But giant pudsy. I know, there's two pudsies that could be, that could cause trouble. Mm. Two pudsies. Yeah. <laughs> shh, shh, close your ears, close your ears. You didn't hear <laughs> that, you didn't hear that. Now, um, I wanted to just find out a little bit more about you. I mean, we've all seen you, you won Britain's Got Talent back in 2012. Uh, and since then, it must have been a roller coaster ride. Yeah, definitely. I can't, well, I can't believe it's three years ago. It's gone so quick and we've been so busy. Um, Putty's had his own film, own book, so it's just his been. His own film and his own book. <laughs> I know, what doc can really say that? But um, yeah, it's been an incredible three years. Yeah. So it all started, Britain's Got Talent. Then you went off and you met the Queen at the Royal Variety. Uh, how was that? Exciting. Um, Are you nervous? Very nervous. It's probably the only time that I've ever got nervous meeting someone before. Normally, I'm quite calm and I'm, I go with the flow. She's um, pretty big in the game. To but be fair. yeah, I mean, the Queen was scary. I kind of froze and I was like, "What do I do? Do I talk to her first, or what, what's going to happen?" But she's lovely, and obviously, she's used to meeting people every day. They, so, they give yeah. you a whole brief, don't they, for when you're meeting? Yeah, them. we we were briefed and we had to. Well, I had to do my little curtsy, but I had Pudsy in my arm, so it's like half a. Um, and yes, we was briefed as well. <laughs> okay, so you've met the Queen now. Since then, who else have you met? Come on, there must be some big peeps. We have. Um, you know, we've flown on Simon Cowell's private jet. Woo! Which was, woo. Yeah, I know, that was pretty <laughs> spectacular. Um, we've met like Rita Ora and loads of other singers like that. So oh, that's Rita. Been, yeah. You know, you know Rita. Best buds. Um, yeah. one, one person that Putty hasn't met, which I think he wants to meet, is Lassie. But he's never quite met her yet. See, I was going to ask, is there anyone left for you to meet? I know. Who did you want to well, meet? Did you want to meet Snoop Dogg? <laughs> 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 I think we'll stick to Lassie at the moment. But nice. uh, yeah. We can make that happen, I'm sure. We'll put the, <laughs> we'll put the social media call out. We'll get Lassie down to meet you, I'm sure. Is that cool? you be able to sort that out? <laughs> I think he's good. happy about that. I so think he's happy about that, definitely. Now, um... Does Pudsy ever work with anyone else? I was wondering, could I make Pudsy give, do the high five or, or Well, we can something? give it a go if yeah, you want. Yeah. yeah, well, you've got to have the treat. Because you've got to you have the treat. You've got to have the power of the treat. If you don't have that, then, oh, you're not starting off the very power good. Of the treat. <laughs> it's passed over to you now. Um, yeah. So all you're going to do, all yeah. you're going to do is you're going to go high five, Puds, Puds, no, no, no. high five. Yes, well done. Okay, so Just like do that. that. Okay, so, he knows okay. you've got the tree. <laughs> he knows He's like, give it. <laughs> High five, putz, 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 putz. No, 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 no. See, this he knows is weak people, that's you know? what it is. Hey, putz, putz. Sit. High five, putz. Putz, putz, sit. No, 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 he just thinks. Putz. High five, high five, high five. Oh, high five. he kind of did it. He high five, did. high five, high five. Yeah, Yay, there we go. Yeah, you get it, you get it, you get the cheek. You get the Good cheek boy, see, he knows weak people. Oh, is he that, knows, is that yeah, a sign of it. weakness? He's like, oh, he's got a treat. I can just forcefully get it from him. Right, I have okay. to work. Um, but for the film, he had to go off and work with other people, okay. um, which was interesting because I had to let go a little bit. So I told, I know, let I had to back away. I was like, oh, let go of Pudsy. Um, but I had to tell all the actors how to work with Pudsy because... Um, they obviously didn't know. They had to stuff like treats up their arms and sleeves and everything like that. And I'm sure wardrobe people didn't didn't like me very much when they were sticking like salmon and fish up, wow. <laughs> up their sleeves. <laughs> um, but yeah, he he does his job. Yeah. Um, he knows what he's got to do, and as long as they tell him what to do properly, um, he just goes and does it. So when you were filming on the film, you've got those those salmon up people's eyes. Have you got any, <laughs> have you got any funny stories of anything that happened? While, while filming, or, or in any of the work that you've done. You mean you've been all over the place. You've been at CBBC, you've been at um, This Morning, all, all sorts of yeah. places. Yeah, um, well, for the film, uh, one, one piece that really sticks in my mind, so he was doing a cleaning montage. So if you watch it in the film, um, it goes very quick and it's with music, but when we're filming it, obviously, it doesn't go that quick. We have to film each section uh, separately. So um, 
Pudsey was just lying on the bed casually. He wasn't meant to be doing anything, but he does this really cute moment where some dust obviously goes up his nose and he has a bit of a sneezing fit. And then he covers his face. And then at the, the perfect timing when everyone looks at the camera, or the kids yeah. included, he sticks his head up and his hair's just gone crazy and he looks straight down the camera. Um, and I must admit, he does have perfect... Um, timing like that sometimes yeah exactly sometimes he just does things and you you think oh my god you know you've just done something that I didn't even tell you to do but it was absolutely perfect it was bang on yes he is a true professional in that way um, and true some of the bits yeah some of the bits in the film um, they weren't planned but Pudsey did it and they went oh we love that and, and um, it made it into and the it happened. made it into the cut so um, sometimes Pudsey knows best not all the time because he might get a bit of a big head then but sometimes wow <laughs>